I want to give a quick rundown today on how I completely disassemble the gun, get it down to each individual part, and give it a good deep clean. It's relatively simple. You do it a couple times. It's not too difficult. You start by just a basic field strip. Pull the slide back until the rear notch is even with the notch and the slide stop right there. I'll hold the front of my hand so it doesn't move. And this pin will drift right out of the other side. Relatively easy. You can remove that pin and the slide comes right off the front of the frame. Remove your guide rod, recoil spring, and the barrel slides right out of the front of the Let's All right, see. first thing, disassemble the lower, is to remove the magwell. All you got to do there is drift this pin at the rear of the frame out. Um, drift it from the left side of the gun. Should be a little indent on the pin. And one thing to make sure is that you drop the hammer to the front before you do that. Because you'll have all this mainspring tension if you don't, and it won't come out very easily. Move the hammer to the front, and I'll slide the gun to the edge of the table. So there's room for that pin to trip without hitting it into your tabletop. Pin comes right out. And remove the magwell. From there, you can slide your mainspring out. At this point, the safeties need to come apart so you can remove all the internals and these come apart at about halfway in between engaged and disengaged. So the easiest way for me is I face the frame towards me and get it at about the halfway point. Make sure you put your hand or a finger on the back side of the safeties here because there's a spring that's going to want to shoot out of the back of the gun if you don't do that. Get it about halfway in between and give it a little wiggle. See that spring flies out, so if you don't cover it up, it wants to shoot across the room. Sometimes newer guns, those safeties come apart a little more difficult, but as you do it a couple times, it gets easier. So the right side just swings up and out like that. From here, you can remove your beaver tail and your leaf spring, which just sits underneath the main spring. And there's just two pins right here, one that will allow you to remove the hammer and one that goes through the hole in the sear to disconnect. So flip that over, drift both of these out, they should fall right out. And then all your internals will fall out there. There's your hammer. And sear and disconnect. Set all that aside. Next would just be to remove the screws on each side of the grip. Just use an Allen key. Loosen those up. And take the screws out. When you do that, there's going to be these little inserts that sit through the frame into the grip. And you can't remove... Um, the two, unless you knock those out. Sometimes they fall out relatively easy. Other times you have to tap them around the edge just to get them to fall through the hole. This other one I might end up having to tap out. Just use your punch to right around the edge right there and they'll fall right down into the frame of the gun. So your grip should separate from your frame pretty easy at that point. The frame's all done. The last thing to do on the grip is to remove the, the trigger and the mag release. On the mag release a little spot right here for a flathead screwdriver that gets about a quarter 
turn counterclockwise, but you have to depress the mag release just a little bit as you do it. And if you move it back and forth, you'll feel it in there. There's the quarter turn, and that allows it to slide free, remove your mag release, and the trigger comes right out of the back. Once I have everything taken apart, I kind of lay it out in a rag like this, have it all separated. I'll hit everything with some cleaning solvent and use a rag just to scrub all the parts and get anything that's built up taken off of them. A couple of key spots I like to hit, make sure to hit, are the rails on the edge of the frame. Um, you wanna make sure there's nothing built up in this hole in the top of the frame. It's where the disconnect sticks up through. Um, make sure there's no build up there so that it can move freely. Um, hit the, uh, where the slide rides on the rails right here, there's this channel. Clean that real good. Make sure there's no gunk on the, on the extractor. And then one other thing that I make sure to hit is this channel right here on the edge of the edge of the grip. That's where the trigger bow rides. Um, as you pull the trigger and make sure it's real smooth. So you aren't adding any extra resistance as you pull the trigger. Reassembly is not too difficult. It's pretty much what you did before, but just in reverse. Um, there's a couple tricks in there that help things go along a little bit smoother. I'll try to hit on real quick. Uh, you start the grip, put your trigger and trigger bow back in, right into the slot there, and put your mag release back in from the right side. This time, the screw is a quarter turn clockwise, and same thing, you wanna find that groove in the middle and it'll snap right into place like that. And there you can put your grip back onto your frame. You should just slide right back together as such. And these little inserts, you should push these up in from the bottom side so you can start the uh start those screws that hold the grip to the frame push them up through get these screws started i'm gonna hold them from the back side so they don't they don't spin at all as i tighten this down do the same thing on the other side Start it up through on the bottom. And get this screw started and it should pull it right into place. So they sit proper in there. From there, you can um, start on the internals of the frame, sear the disconnect. These can get just a little bit tricky. Um, so the disconnect, I set on the table like that. This flat piece is going to sit on the back of the trigger bow. So set it on the table the way it's oriented and your sear is going to sit like that. They go right together so the holes line up and that's the way it needs to go into the gun. Lay everything out so it's a uh, oriented proper and it'll be a little easier to see how it goes in. This top of the disconnect needs to go through the hole in the frame right there. So lay it on its side and hold these together and slide it through the back. And you'll feel the top of the disconnect as it hits the frame. You'll feel it when it touches that hole. That's the easiest way I found to do it. Um, sometimes you can grab them with needle noses and kind of work them up in there. But for me, I just get it started. Maybe use a little slave pin to move it back and forth. But you'll feel it as it hits this hole right here. And it should slide right up in just like that. 
once you get it close, you kind of move it back and forth. And I'll use a pen. I'll use one of these, uh, not a pen, uh, one of these punches to get the holes lined up. Probably gonna be some trial and error. There it goes. So you get the holes lined up, shove a pin through so it holds together. And you can see how the flat part of the disconnect sits on the back of the trigger bow. Just make sure it's oriented like that so it operates properly. Um, pull the pin out from there and take this small pin and it just slides and holds it right in place. You can stick your hammer in the same way. Drop that pin right down in. That'll hold everything together. Um, next would be the leaf spring. You wanna put it so the hook on the leaf spring um, is facing down. There's also a, plus a little notch here on the bottom that is gonna sit into the notch, a little opening on the bottom of the grip right around here. So set that in place and just make sure that the middle arm on the leaf spring sitting on the disconnect sits a little bit lower and the left arm is sitting on top of the sear. You don't want it shoved up underneath the gun's not gonna operate properly. If you put that in, you can slide your main spring into place and that'll hold your leaf spring from falling out. At that point, put your beaver tail on and your safety's back together. Don't forget the spring that likes to jump across the room. Slide that into the slot. The right way, the, the smaller, shorter side goes into the frame of the gun. The larger side is what is gonna ride on the safeties. Start with this side, that'll swing right down into the slot and the right side safety goes in just like that. Again, it goes together at about halfway in between engaged and disengaged. So what I'll do is get it started and then use this punch to, to push that pin down as I squeeze. And they should snap right together. There it goes. Snap right into place. Work good. From there, um, move the hammer to the front so you can slide this, uh, slide your main spring all the way to the top so it meets up with the beaver tail. And you just gotta make sure the arm that rides in the bottom of the the bottom of the hammer sits in the slot in the mainspring. Just make sure that's lined up. You're not gonna get it to push all the way up to the top. Push that in. Slide on your magwell and drift this pin back into the hole. Feel it land. There's a little groove in that pin. It sits on the bottom of the mainspring. You'll feel it land right in the middle there. So, pretty simple. Um, just a couple tricks with the, the sear and the disconnect. But that is getting your frame back together. Safety works. Everything with the sear and the disconnect works good. And then make sure you can't pull the trigger with the safety leverage. So I put the slide back together. That's when I'm um, really adding all the lubrication to the gun. Um, big spots you want to hit are barrel lugs right here. Lube that up real good. And all along the sides, sides of the barrel, any contact points, anything that rides or touches. So 
um, channels on the on the slide right here. Get a bead of oil on them. A little bit of oil on the rails in the frame on each side. Put a touch on the top of the disconnect right here. Just a little bit so it moves freely. Again, anything that touches or rides together. Oh, and the uh, put some in the, in the guide rod where the spring spring goes. Put that guide rod back together. Put your barrel into the end of the slide. Guide right in. And then slide back together. Um, and I'll use a, uh, use a punch to move the barrel link right there so it, it lines up decent. It'd be kind of a pain to get in there. Put your slide stop in. Give the slide a little bit of a wiggle. And then just move it back so the slide stop goes through the rear notch right there. That's about it. Function test it. Make sure everything works good.